Hello and welcome to the 17th video in this uh, file systems video tutorial series. My name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Um, now in the previous video uh, we talked about using the directory object in order to scan um, directory contents um, and we know that this um, we used the dir function which then returned the directory object where we then had a directory handle which could be then read from using the method of read and also then um, close and there was, was also rewind which I'm going to talk about in forthcoming videos. So um, I also said there was another uh, kind of longer way of doing it as well which was different to the directory object uh, way of doing it. Um, so let's continue and as you can see here we're going to be using the open dir and read dir okay now if you want to look at the man pages on php uh, website then php.net forward slash open dir and then php.net forward slash read dir okay but i'm going to show you them um, anyway so the path that we're going to be scanning is um, this directory okay so we're going to use the single dot um, followed by a forward slash we don't have to use the forward slash we could just use that um, now to be good programmers before we do anything um, because we're talking about handles um, we're going to basically test that first of all that it is a directory itself else we're going to spell else correctly and we're going to output then is not a directory and just for the sake of seeing our code works perfectly fine let's come here is not directory good let's change this back and we see yep it's fine oh it's a no-brainer um, okay so now we know that we have I is directory um, we're going to then have our um, our directory handle now before we use dir this time we're going to use open dir um, where we know that the dir function returned a directory object we know that open dir returns a, a, a directory handle okay so we'll just say path in here and we should then have a, a directory handle we could do some extra checks to see whether it is a directory handle or not um, which we will okay just because of it we're still probably going to get a warning otherwise but uh, actually no we're not going to do it we're not going to do it just to keep the code um, minimal so now that we have the directory handle we want to loop round um, that one directory handle reading all of the entries or the contents of that one directory so we use a while loop and then we'll open up another set of um, brackets and after that we we'll say is not equal to false there's no confusion okay and let's come back in here so with inside of these um, open brackets which we opened up inside we're then going to say um, directory or yeah no we say directory equals then uh, read dir okay now read dir can take an optional argument of a directory handle okay so you don't actually have to uh, use it all right now for the um, for this example we're not going to put a directory handle in here but later on in this video I'm going to show you when you will need to put a directory handle into it okay so as, as far as it's concerned if you don't provide the argument it will use a previously open directory handle link to read from okay so if you're only going to scan one single directory then you don't need to give the arguments in if you're going to then scan an additional directory whilst you're inside of that loop then you're going to need to supply it okay but we'll go through it all right so now that we have um, the dir which is there essentially it could be a file or a dir or a directory sorry so let's just do the, ch the check first of all and say if it is a, a directory and let's say dir okay so if the dir variable which has been returned from read directory is a directory then we're going to output echo is a directory okay and um, and let's just say uh, dir here okay and then we'll just say uh, else if then is a file just to show the differences and if it's not a directory and it's not a file then I have no idea what it is Uh, there's other reasons what it could be um, 
but let's not talk about it. So it's either going to say it is a file or is a directory. Now, as we learnt from previous videos about um, file handles and so on, if we're going to open uh, a handle, we want to close the handle. Okay, and once again, this does the same thing. Um, which we talked about with read directory. If there's an open link, then you don't have to supply the argument with this one because it will close the previous link. Okay, so therefore we just have to say close dir. Let's come to here and let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, this is the contents of the folder which we're in, and we've got is file dot php dot php is directory. You've got then the double dot saying that it is a directory. Okay, once again, is file 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 and then YouTube underscore new is a directory and file and then is directories test and is directory the single dot for the current directory so parent directory YouTube new and test fine I mean that's that's it for reading one directory but what about if we then wanted to do scanning of subdirectories whilst we're in the while loop of doing this one okay we then know that this link thing here well is going to get confusing and there's going to cause errors therefore we've got to be explicit in the fact of which directory handle we're telling it to read therefore we need to give the argument of directory handle here and directory handle here to tell these functions this is the directory handle which I want you to read from okay don't just read the, the current one that's in the list all right so if it is a directory then we're going to then loop again and read again this would be the time we'd start making functions up to start doing these things okay but um, for the sake of doing it long-winded we can then say sub um, dir handle equals then open directory now remember at the moment we're in the current directory so any results which are um, returned by read dir we can go straight into without giving any kind of absolute path because we're in that directory already but obviously if you were doing like kind of other directories you would then have to give the full absolute path to it in this case we don't need to so open dir we know it's a directory already so we've done that test um, but I only want to test the um, I only want to test the is direct the the test directory rather than the the single dot or the double dot or the YouTube underscore new. So I want to be explicit about this and say if dir is equal to test, so that's the test directory that we want to scan. We're then going to get another handle from there. Okay. So now that we have the handle, we can then just loop round again and then say um, is not equal to false. Open this up come here and we say sub dir equals then uh, read directory and then we're going to give then the sub um, underscore dir handle as the handle which the directory handle which is going to be read from okay so we're being totally explicit once again and now we echo out um, let's do this contents equal and we we'll say sub dir just to be quick okay so um, let's just have a look at the results then we'll go through it so this is what it was previously just going through the directory and we see that we've got is directory test here so now we should see more entries be before this double dot uh, this single dot okay let's refresh okay now we see that we've got then um, the contents of here the test directory has the double dot and the single dot then f open dot txt example and empty Okay, and then we get the final single dot, which was then from the main current directory itself. All right, clear. Now, if we remove this sub um, dir handle, all right, and we re remove this directory handle, and we remove this one here, and obviously good practice would then be to close dir as well. All right, although we're doing it good practice in a bad way. <laughs> Um, so we're closing this one directory handle now let's see whether we get this single dot okay because essentially once we're finished here we're closing that directory handle okay and the read directory pointer has been put to the end therefore because it's the the most um, previously open link 
it's never going to get to here all right so um, let's refresh this and okay if because we closed this one it then went to the next one up so if we remove this closed directory down and come here again now you see that we don't get the the single dot for this one here okay so although we would because we programmed correctly by putting the closed dir it need to it need to close the the current file hand or the directory handle excuse me and then it continued on the loop knowing well wait a minute if the last one got closed I'll take the previous directory handle and I'll continue looping with that therefore it continued to do its job correctly and then finally it closed the open link that it had available yeah so we know that's um, no directory support what is it? line 14 okay so we're still um, getting some errors here because of this so essentially what I'm trying to say all right is that if you're going to be scanning more than one directory at a time before you close the other directory this is the most important thing if you're doing if you're if you open a, um, a directory handle and then you're going to open another one with inside of that one loop make sure you're explicit in what you do when it comes to reading the directories and also closing the directories and let's put this one in here and put this one in here and we know that everything wor works swimmingly it was all fine okay so refresh this and we see that our errors go or our warnings go all right so I hope that you understood that um, for the sake of purposes of adding an argument to a function then you know that you've got a lot more um, redundancy in your code and you know that it's going to work all right as long as you've done all the correct checks um, uh, as well so that's now the second long method of doing this okay uh, and I hope now you have a good understanding of wh how what open directory and read directory and closed directory does um, in the next video we're talking about um, rewinding directory handles before we move into then the quick and easy functions which then scan directories possibly scan dir will be something to look at okay thanks very much my name is david thorne i hope you've learned something from this um, if you've got any feedback to give me um, then just comment um, regardless whether it's positive or negative or all um, feedback is good feedback as far as i'm concerned uh, like thumbs up subscribe and so on otherwise um, i hope you've learned something thanks bye